Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this channel, we share all technical knowledge uh, uh, with respect to data engineering and cloud and data science. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, get benefited. And please share this information to your friends to help large learning community. Thank you so much. And in this video, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to install uh, uh, we are going to install the uh, 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 Ubuntu on uh, WSL. So what is WSL? Uh, uh, basically, uh, 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 Windows uh, uh, subsystem for Linux. Okay. So you can actually in your Windows uh, operating system like uh, uh, Windows 10, you can actually uh, on Windows 10 operating system itself, you can actually run your Ubuntu uh, operating system, which is a Linux operating system, Ubuntu or any other Linux operating system. Generally, what we do is if you want to run on in your Windows machine, if you want to run your Linux operating system, we install some virtualization technologies like uh, uh, um, a VMware or VirtualBox, and then we create a VM, a virtual machine, and then install the operating system. So uh, uh, then uh, recent uh, uh, years, uh, uh, Windows introduced uh, uh, WSL, which is a Windows subsystem for Linux, so that we can um, uh, enable these features uh, it will be part of your uh, windows os from windows 10 uh, it is available as as per this uh, documentation okay and then you can enable that features and uh, you can install your uh, uh, linux operating uh, system whichever is uh, 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 you want to use it say example i want to use it uh, i want to use uh, ubuntu uh, operating system so i am going to configure uh, uh, wsl in my Windows 10 operating system and then um, install the Ubuntu. So first thing is I'll just show you uh, um, what is my uh, operating system. So I'm using a Windows uh, uh, Windows uh, um, 10 Home Edition. Okay, so I'm using a Windows 10 Home Edition, uh, <coughs> which is and also uh, basically mine is uh, 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 system uh, type is 64 bit operating system i use uh, 16 uh, uh, giga uh, uh, 16 gigas uh, uh, ram okay so my build uh, os uh, build version is this one okay so this is my system configuration so what uh, uh, um, so it is it will be there in your uh, uh, so wsl can be configured on from your windows 10 okay so uh, you can refer uh, some of the documentation if you want to check whether your operating system can be uh, uh, suitable for enabling WSL. Uh, uh, now what I'm going to use, uh, first thing is uh, I already done it on my mission. I taken the screenshot of every step. I'm going to walk through those steps. So, so first thing is to enable the WSL, you just have to, uh, you need to go to the uh, uh, windows and uh, uh, type uh, turn windows features on or off if you type this you will get it and click on that so you will see this window okay so it will have uh, all the uh, features some of the features enabled some of the features are not enabled so you will scroll down to the bottom to enable the uh, to enable the windows subsystem for linux okay uh, click on that okay windows subsystem for linux and also i'm going to click on the virtual machine platform okay so this option also so two option i'm clicking windows subsystem for linux and windows virtual machine platform so then you click on okay okay when you click on okay it will just start uh, uh, enabling all the features okay so whatever you chose so once it is once it is done it has to be so it will suggest you to uh, restart your machine please do that we restart is a must so once you restart it again uh, so you need to uh, install one package okay so which is uh, basically a, a wsl uh, update for uh, a kernel update okay so, so you can actually you can search in windows see windows uh, wsl uh, kernel update for windows 10 x64 if you download you can just get it from this or documentation microsoft documentation page i already have this link i'll put it in the this video section description section you can take it from that so take this 
link and download it in your from your browser once put it in your browser and uh, click enter it is going to download this msi file installer file so the file name is wsl underscore update underscore x64.msi so once you download um, so the file will be like this and double click on it and you can see the welcome to the uh, windows subsystem for linux update setup wizard just click next and uh, so once you click next it will prompt you uh, on the blue screen you will it will prompt you do you want to update uh, make update on this system you will say x uh, please uh, choose yes option so that it will install uh, uh, this kernel update okay so it was coming in a uh, blue screen i was not able to uh, capture in a screenshot okay so so when you when you click next it will prompt you uh, do you want to uh, allow this to be updated on this device you just say yes okay so once you do yes it will just install uh, update the kernel and it will show you this screen with the finish uh, button okay so click on finish so now it is uh, uh, done now what we need to do is we need to open a, a powershell so again open windows type windows powershell and uh, go uh, open the powershell with the run as administrator click that option so you will see the window powershell and you can just type okay so you can just, just type it as uh, wsl space uh, iphone iphone set iphone default iphone version okay and then two so basically we are just uh, uh, because initially it comes with the uh, uh, wsl uh, so then we they they give us the next release wsl2 we are trying to use the wsl wsl version 2 not the one okay so that's the reason i'm just setting this uh, set the default version as 2 once you run this command you will say uh, for in, for the information on key difference with the wsl please visit like that so and some people you it may show operations completed successfully some people it will not show it's fine so once you see this information is fine and then you can go to the now we enable the um, wsl and install the kernel update the now next step is to install the ubuntu operating system okay on our on wsl on top of wsl <coughs> now you go to the microsoft store um, on windows i just click uh, microsoft store and you will open this microsoft store and you can search for ubuntu just click on the search button and then type ubuntu and enter you will see all uh, different version of ubuntu so i am more interested in the latest version which is uh, ubuntu uh, 20.04 lts uh, click on this and uh, you will see this like that and I click on get and uh, sometime uh, it will show you the download option and click on download or sometime it download automatically so the size the file size is around uh, four so 466.2 uh, uh, mbf file it will just download and install the ubuntu okay so once it is installed okay so it will download and install it and you will see this option the product is installed you can launch it then click on this launch button and uh, so it will prompt you uh, it will prompt you uh, installing and uh, this may take few minutes just wait for it and it will prompt for creating a uh, user for your uh, operating system ubuntu operating system okay so so what i am doing is uh, i am just going to create a my username as data making and then just enter after entering username just enter it will ask you to enter the password i am going to set the new password so i'll just uh, give the password and retype the new password once you retype the password it will just uh, launch you the uh, <coughs> the cli mode of uh, uh, ubuntu operating system so it says uh, welcome to ubuntu 20.04.3 uh, uh, lts okay so this is the window you will get it and then you can just uh, open this this <coughs> then you can if you want to just check uh, what are the operating system running you can go to the powershell and type wsl-list space-verbose 
so it will just tell uh, the running Linux operating system on WSL. Okay, so we, as we know, we are running on we are running the Ubuntu operating system 20.04. That's what it says. And uh, now uh, we are going to check the uh, IP address of this uh, uh, Ubuntu operating system. You can run a command called if config. So when you type if config by default that command is not there it will suggest you to install this ap uh, sudo apt install dead tools so we can just type that command sudo apt install net tools it should install the um, the necessary package uh, necessary packages for if command um, for the if command to be used okay so it last the password enter so it's installed the um, um, <coughs> network tools some of the network tools so it is installed uh, uh, the IP config so now you can just type if config and it will show you the IP address of this uh, Ubuntu operating system okay so so this is how we need to install uh, you need to configure the WSL and update the kernel and install the Ubuntu operating system so if you just uh, go to my start menu I'll just type Ubuntu so it is see here it is there. just type here so it will launch the uh, machine so i'll just say ls so i am inside the home directory of my user ubuntu so <clears throat> we will keep uh, um, installing multiple uh, uh, applications on this ubuntu operating system and uh, we will do a lot of development on this in the coming up videos thank you so much friends uh, 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 please uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, click on bell button to get notification whenever I add new videos and please share this information to your friends uh, to get benefited by a larger learning community. Thanks friends. See you in the next video.